So when do you need a tripod that is this high? Well, there are a few times in my hunting career that I wished that I had a tripod that I could stand behind and shoot. Often I'll have to look for a tree or something because you're trying to shoot over top of brush or, or the terrain is such that you need to be able to stand and take that shot. It generally has happened to me a number of times during moose hunting season when you know, you're know you in a lot of brush and you just need to get up over top of stuff. Some of the things that you really need to think about when taking a standing shot, a tripod is far superior to looking for a crotch of a tree or just natural terrain. So the thing is with the tripod, obviously you have the maneuverability, uh, move it where you need to move it, to find yourself an open lane to shoot. And once you got that, and often it's just a matter of positioning the tripod in the right place and really getting behind it in the setup. I used to really lean into it where as time progresses and you learn and you know actually you take a lot of tips from shooters from professional shooters and then apply them to the hunting scenario and often we were not in ideal conditions we're not sitting at a range but you just make do with the same style of techniques to give you the best opportunity to take the game in this situation first off when i'm setting my tripod up obviously you want one that is going to be adequate to your height. So I'm six feet tall and this tripod extends high enough so that I can stand behind it on level ground. If it's a little bit shorter than I'd like it, all I have to do is spread my feet apart a few more inches and then I'm set. And obviously the terrain when you're in a hunting situation is going to dictate those kind of things. So you don't want to find yourself, you know, spread out too far, but Get a tripod that you can actually stand behind comfortably and make a good shot. This one here by Really Right Stuff works amazing for me. So the first thing when I'm looking to my setup is I wanna square my back two legs up with myself. And, and it, I want the one, the third leg extended straight out toward the target. Because what that's gonna do is when you take the shot, the recoil is gonna come back, it's gonna come back on two legs, and then it's gonna settle back in forward onto the front leg. And you're gonna get the same recoil, same shot placement every time or as close to it as possible. Because if you have one leg back here and then the shot kicks it off, the whole tripod's likely to move. So this is just the most stable platform that you're gonna get. And obviously I extend them out as far as I can to broaden the area as long as the terrain dictates it. And then what I wanna do, once I've got that set up, then it's about is go through the same pattern that you shoot if you were laying down prone. Square up to the gun. What I do is just square your feet up. Not, I'm not like this, because this isn't how I would shoot if I was laying down prone either. I wouldn't be splayed out to the side. It's always everything straight at the target. So spread my legs out. Settle into the into the weapon. I can hold. I can hold here. I can hold here. I can hold the base, or I can settle in, and I can go right to the same style of shooting that I would be if I was prone or if I was seated. So the whole point behind the tripod is let it do the work. You don't want to be muscling the gun at all. Like you don't want to be leaning into the tripod. You don't want to be out here leaning in. That used to be a technique that I used to use. But what you're doing is you're using muscles and the more relaxed you can be, the better. So stand up nice and straight, settle down into the gun. If you want to put your hand here, light pressure, everything is light pressure. You should be able to tighten the BH40 up so that basically if you weren't here, all you'd have to do is put it on target and you could just literally pull that trigger back, squeeze the trigger. And at the end of the day, that's what you want to try to mimic by getting behind that nice square body, light pressure, final tune, tune up, lock it in and then go about your shooting business. And that's basically how to use a tripod standing up. And I've had to use it a number of times now. 
and the more practice I get behind it, setting it up quickly, setting it up properly, and not rushing it and not pushing it, it's always been worked well for me. Hopefully those tips help for you. And if you find yourself in a situation where you need to be standing, shooting with a tripod, take into some of those considerations, those tips, and um, I think it'll help.